Hello everyone, this is the first time I welcome you like this, yeah, I'm still in bed. No, just joking, yeah, we have one awesome hotel suite here and uh, I will show you the great view. Yeah, so yeah, I'm waiting the whole time. Muss beide einfach einmal drücken, einfach nur einmal drücken. Danke, das war's. Auf, also einfach auf, einmal drücken. Tada! This is our hotel room, which we have here in Hamburg, and. I welcome you on this vlog. We will uh, run a little bit around in the city center and I have one friend over here. He has one watch store and uh, is always well known for, I mean, regular Rolex watches. Of course, everyone has this, but he has also some quite unique stuff. And yeah, let me show you a little bit around. If you're interested to know a little bit more about this hotel, I've done a special video about this whole stunning room and all the details about this, I mean, this balcony. This view, yeah, to wake up from here, it's just gorgeous. So we will start the day right now. I will get dressed and then let's go to the center of the city and take a look at some watches. So for the whole day, we have some interesting appointments and I choose one very conservative watch for the day and no one can say anything bad about this watch. It's a very particular 3710, uh, this is my own watch and I just love it, no one has it. Uh, back in the day, it was not very popular, but nowadays, of course, it's a collectible. And uh, in terms of production numbers, it's pretty low. And right now I'm heading over. Victoria is already done and just waits for me to go. So there's one appointment. I don't think it's possible for me to film over there. Uh, it's a little bit not official, I would say. Uh, if I can also bring you there, of course, I will pull out the camera and do something. Uh, for the second one, it's with Luxoria. And uh, of course, I can film over there. And if we have some time left, we will just run around, check some watch shops and see. Which watch are you wearing today? Oh, very beautiful vintage Rolex. Ooh. So this one is the Oyster Perpetual Date, yeah, with the blue aftermarket dial. Fits very well to, yeah, every kind of sunny weather, which we have over here currently. Thankful. Uh, let's head over to the taxi and uh, go into the city. And the first appointment is done. I couldn't take you guys with me. I was sure that, uh, you know, I couldn't film over there, but it was nice and good, maybe great perspective for the future. And right now we are heading over to Luxoria. I know that Luxoria is just around the corner over there, uh, if, in case you want to visit them. And he's always, he was always very strong also in jewelry and some watches which not that commercial and I hope we can spot some pieces which I have never seen before I don't know I hope here's the shop Rolex watches at the moment has everyone so for that reason I'm looking more for the kind of not so convenient watches for example directly over here this Bell & Ross watches I think are pretty unique you don't see them very often and you don't sell them very often, but to have an opportunity to take a look at them. Also everywhere are these Chopard glasses and I don't know, what about this? I mean, look at this, Chopard iced out. Man, 1000 euro. Some expensive glasses. Some watches for your desk. Very nice, also from Chopard. I don't know why he's so strong in this brand and I've spotted something pretty unique. I'm a huge fan of Breguet. No one is buying that watch and he has one uh, Retrograde automatic watch with the open balance wheel. I will go for that 100%. And now let's go inside. Also from Panerai, a nice desk watch. And let me see over here what we have here, Breitling. Okay, this and this. Arnold and Son, some strong pieces. And also here we have the Zebra Datejust in gold. And the jewelry part, you know, I'm, uh, I'm not uh, that into diamonds and uh, jewelry, but here's also a nice selection. So let me go inside. So this is the beautiful place and uh, you just feel comfortable in here. He has a great choice of everything. Say hello to the camera. <laughs> and right now let's see some watches. Oh, I spot something. Let me see. So of course, I mean, this I already told you, he has any model which you need from Rolex. 
But uh, we will take a look at something different. What a love in the detail. Yes, everywhere this kind of perfume bottles. And look at this DuPont lighter over here, this desk watches. In every corner you, you look, there is something to explore. And you know that I'm a big fan of pens. Look at this. This is from Rolex. Never seen before. Also this money clip. In every corner you look, there is something quite unique. And oh! <laughs> what about this? This is the Alinghi ship, the sailing boat, yeah? Uh, Audemars Piguet is sponsoring one team. And uh, yeah, this is it in a smaller version. What do we have over here? Yeah, I'm not that into jewelry, but in case you are. Oh, what a limited edition. I, I mean, no one is buying Panerai, uh, but it looks nice. And here's also one Chopin, but I think regarding the price, this is not real diamonds. Let me move on what we have here. Some Mont Blanc writing instruments, also very interesting. And right now we have a special selection in front of us and there's, to be honest, a few highlights, uh, but one is just unbelievable. I have never had this watch in my hand. This is a confirmed Paul Newman Daytona, but I will show you this at last. So first, let's go through the collection. Of course, very important are Rolex models. And some of you might not notice that this watch has an increase of a list price. So right now, this one went up in retail price for around 3,000 euro. And right now you need to pay, I don't know, approximately 35,000 euro if you want to have this watch brand new. And you have the possibility here to get this one for retail. Also a little bit rarer these days is this nice yellow gold uh, Yachtmaster 2 with the new hands. So this must be also a new model. But you know, this one you can see everywhere. Of course he has it. But right now, let's go a little bit deeper into the watch game. And one brand which I love to look at is Anon at Sun. I know that no one is interested in these watches, but let me show them to you. This one, for example, I've had my eyes on since it came out. This is the big moon. And you can see that they built the whole moon here on the dial in a very big size. I think this is the biggest size. It's a steel watch and retails currently for around 9,000 euro. But I'm sure if you want to have it, you have some possibilities. And now let's continue with some more abstract uh, watches over here to the right side. This one has a half movement on the dial and uh, yeah, it's, it looks pretty extraordinary. It's in rose gold and the current retail price is 17,000 euro. Let's wind this model and then we go on to the next. <laughs> oh, and this watch has an interesting feature which I didn't notice in the first sign. And here to the right side, this is a watch with a dead beat second. So you can see to the upper left side that the second hand is moving like a quartzwerk. This is not an easy kind of complication. And here, the next one to the left has the whole movement in front of the watch. Interesting to see. Arnold and Son is a watch which no one has on the radar. Not so easy tradable, but at the end, if you want to wear something which no one has, then maybe this is the way to go. They are not that expensive and you can work good with these. Over here to the right side, we have also one gold version of the moon watch. And then if we move on to the right, hey, look at this amazing watches. For, here, for example, is a Breguet and here Glashütte. And believe it or not, these watches, the retail price of these watches are very, very expensive. And if I take a look on the price tag, this one is just 19,000 euro. I mean, to be honest, this is a ridiculous price. If you compare this watch, for example, you can spend 18,000 euro on this one. Uh, or you can buy a Daytona in steel. What an architectural masterpiece. Yeah, this has the a lower price uh, than a Daytona and uh, yeah, something must be wrong if you are not checking out this. I mean, what kind of rotor is this? If you've seen something like this before, you know, Breguet in depth, yeah, the, the quality and craftsmanship is just exceptional. And if you compare the prices, what you can get for this amount, then, you know, it's definitely worth it to look at it. And over here to the right side <laughs> is another very interesting watch, the Glass Hütte Tourbillon at 12 o'clock. And uh, yeah, it looks like a pocket watch. To uh, the right side, you have the crown uh, with this, yeah, same kind of mechanical uh, way to wind the watch, uh, like for a pocket watch. Interesting to see. I've never had this one in my hand. And what I just heard that is that you can use it actually as a pocket watch, 25 piece limited. And uh, the retail price of this one? It's uh, 270,000 DMA. 270,000 Deutschmark. So approximately half price in Euro. And uh, let me show you. Ooh. 
Wow! At the moment, you know, pocket watches are not that popular, I have to say, but to have the possibility, this is quite something. Tourbillon pocket watch, and currently, uh, what is the price? 75,000 euro. And the first time I also see this watch in person is the Zebra, yeah, the small brother of the uh, Leopard. And this one is the, and you have two possibilities, either the full gold one, which is also available currently, or you have this rubber bracelet one, yeah, kind of unique watch from Rolex, which they, they designed in the past. And believe it or not, this these are real diamonds on the bracelet. So you have a rubber bracelet with integrated stones. And this is the full gold version, very luxurious. And uh, yeah, what is the price for this one at the moment? 47,000 euro you need to pay at the moment, for example, for this model. Interesting to see, you know, I have never had this one in my hand. The dial and the craftsmanship looks very nice. And the last highlight before we move on to this watch, which I want to show you in a second, is a Tobium also from Breguet. You know, I love to have this kind of watches in my hand because all day and every day of the week, you have your Daytona, you have your Audemars, the Royal Oak, you have the Nautilus. These, these are all nice watches, but to have the possibility to look at something else, uh, this is quite something. The list price of this watch, for example, is 110,000 euro and uh, they go in the market for around 50,000 euro. Huge discount for this kind of complication. If you compare it with Rolex, you, you cannot even afford for this price, uh, Daytona in platinum. So yeah, you should keep always this in mind that the prices for these models went skyrocket. This is uh, yeah, not so easy to keep the perspective. And right now, this is the highlight of the whole desk. This is a confirmed 10 out of 10 Paul Newman Daytona. And why is that confirmed? Because the first owner made a service for 20,000 euro. <laughs> so this watch is 100% confirmed by Rolex. They didn't change anything major, just do, did the whole restoration. And um, for vintage watches, you always have this kind of problem that you cannot say if everything is correct and the first owner didn't change maybe the dial or the hands. And with this one, you can say uh, Rolex checked it and uh, yeah, gave their hallmark that it's 100% original. You cannot name a price for this watch. If you are interested in this kind of timepiece, you need to come and talk, then maybe discuss. There is no price tag for a watch like this. The, uh, they waited for this watch approximately two years to have it back from service. And uh, yeah, I don't know any second uh, which is available at the moment in this kind of condition. This is my favorite poster in the whole store. This is the whole collection of Omega models. And if you take a look at it, which one is the most one which sticks out from the whole? It's this Alaska project, which is also in my collection. You have a great overview. Uh, they released a couple of interesting models. Uh, this is the Alaska one, then the second. And uh, yeah, I didn't know that they also had a skeletonized movement. Right now, we don't have that much time left. We are heading over for one a lunch. And then we're taking the train back to Düsseldorf. Yeah. And uh, yeah, let's go. Oh, and we made it, yeah. We are on our way back to Düsseldorf tomorrow, some appointments, and then we'll head over to Stuttgart. To the guys, Nico and Tim, Sasha is also there. And um, yeah, this was it, our journey in Hamburg. And uh, I hope you liked that. If so, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And then I would say, I see you guys next time.